Look at I tell you. Roll the window down. Go. More. More. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep. Keep going. Stop. Oh, it went over. Huh? I told you to stop. All right, guys. Uh, my name is Robert. I am with my oldest son, Jesse. Join us behind us. My daughter. Uh, Jesse's gonna help do another oil change on our LX570. We got a new tool. Um, we got actually we got a new improved tool from Motor of X Tools, and we're gonna talk about it in a second. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, guys. Thanks for joining us. Just wanted to say, if, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, please do. We would appreciate it. And also at the end of the video, if you could like and share it, that'd be great too. So we've done the oil change before on here and Jesse's has helped me, but now we're talking about a new tool, a new and improved tool, I should say, that came from Motive X Tools. This is another oil wrench that it got. Uh, several key points, one is made in USA. So uh, before it was made overseas, really good quality still, but still made in overseas. So now we've got some made in America stuff, uh, patent pending. Uh, this is 64.3, what they've changed. So they've added this piece here. Uh, we'll show you the old one. So here's the old one right here. You can see that was a one piece unit. So they improved on having a separate piece because I guess there was some reports of this maybe getting messed up. But with this one, it is a harder aluminum. The body of this aluminum is 6061 aluminum, but this right here, the driver part, is 7075 aluminum, and they said that's equivalent to steel. So that's pretty hard. Also, that can be replaced if necessary. You can use the socket in here, or you can use a wrench on the outside. So it's much stronger. Another thing that they improved or changed is that they removed the little teeth here. Um, it was actually beneficial, especially for the metal one. You can kind of get in there and do that. But I guess there was some issues for some people with the plastic uh, because they're over tightened and this could cause some stress on the metal one. They won't do that. However, it'll fit much tighter. So the tolerance on this guy is a lot tighter and I can tell, it totally tell. So you don't need the teeth anymore to grip outside. You can see as well, it is smaller um, they've designed it to be a lot more smaller and I guess the tolerance is a lot better. This will fit all the Toyota engines. Uh, previously the 2.0 or bigger, you used that tool and the 1.8s you had to use a different tool. Now you can use a single tool and that's what this is here. So you got that. So that is about it. Jesse's going to help me. Hey Jesse, yeah, you're I'm having a drink? He's taking a break and we're going to head here and we'll show you how this tool works getting it out we already have a aluminum filter cover in the truck already so it'll be easier and safer to do that i do recommend that this uh we talked about in my previous videos i'll put links in the description so you can watch the previous videos on this so we'll be right What's cool? Yeah, see it's stable. We can snap it in here. Yeah, see it. We can use a nut. Yes. Yeah, and then we can get it in here. And then now. Try to use some force to oh, get it. That's tight as hell. Try to use force, Dad. I'm gonna use a breaker ball. <laughs> okay, it's recording. Now I'm gonna get it underneath. I put it closer. So everyone can see it. Yep. So I'm using the socket. Yes. Yeah, oh. Sorry about that. There. Now you're gonna try. Cause this is the improvement. Oh, wow. Yes, you got Ooh. it. It was hard. That was tight, huh? It's gonna leak a tiny, but not too much. Nope, because we drained a lot of yeah. it. Yeah. So, get some fresh oil. Yeah, we get it. And then now we get it on, you see, we get it. And it should come on. Okay, there we go, see it's getting on. It's so funny, yeah. Got fresh oil here. Yeah, I see he's right there. Same thing there. Yeah. 
Yeah, and it's going on. Yeah. I'm so good at torque and everything. I'm strong. Mm -hmm. And then we put the filter on. Yeah, you see, you get the new we're one. Ready to mount the back. Yeah, now we're ready to mount the back. Mm -hmm. Still not snug yet, no. Not yet, then we'll torque it down afterwards. The new one's great. You like it? Yeah, no problem. It's snug, now we torque everything down here. Yeah. And now you got the cover off. There. Nice. Got it. I got oil everywhere. Come on and take this off. Yeah. So ready? I'm gonna put the Motiv X funnel in right now. Yeah, it's threading in. All right, Justin, let's pour oil. This one you could pour pretty fast because of the Moto Vex um, funnel. Can you reach it? Uh, okay. Came up oh, slow. Pours, huh? Yeah, pour whatever speed. Second bottle. Yeah, we're not gonna pour it all because it's 7.9 uh, quarts, right? 7.9, 7.8, so we'll drop it back. We don't want to overfill. All right, I want to say thanks to Jesse for all the help. So as far as performance on this guy, it's really pretty good. So if you're interested in this or MCL products, check the link below. Don't forget to share the video to anybody else you think that needs it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Hit the bell icon for new notifications. And peace out.